Hello, it's November 8, 2020, Hyde Park, Chicago. This video is about this pair of Merrill's Bear XS4. These are um, zero drop running shoes, trail running shoes, uh, which I've been using over the past two years. And with the exception of a few winter months, where the snow and ice and general conditions here um, make this shoe unusable for the obvious reasons. Um, I've been using these for everything. By everything I mean, of course, for running, for walking, to go to the gym, to go to the store, to go to work, travel all over the world, or at least the places I've been to. and. Uh, doing great absolutely phenomenal size seven and a half socksless and extremely 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 comfortable um, I'm not a competitive runner I do run about a, a thousand miles between a thousand and fifteen hundred miles annually um, depending on my schedule and then Basically, I try to spend between an hour, an hour 15, either in the gym or running almost every day and just to keep fit. So, um, I don't know why this shoe in particular has been so great. Uh, this is my second pair of this model. The first pair of this model I also used for two years and it also I had thousands of miles of combined running, walking, everything. As you can see, despite all of this heavy usage, and by heavy I mean they've been through rain and mud and sand, rocky areas of hiking, pavement, you know, everywhere. Um, and the sole, all in all, isn't in bad condition. That's what you'd expect. The inside, obviously, is eaten up. Yesterday uh, was a beautiful day in Chicago, and so I haven't been using them over the past few weeks, though, because when it does get colder here, uh, my feet get too cold and I, I have a, a different version which I'll show you in a moment. Anyway, I've, I've gotten back to using it yesterday because it was such a lovely day. And, and when I put them on I realized that yes, it's about time, it's two years, so many miles and the experience wasn't that, that great. I mean, I did run these 14 miles with them and I had no ad adverse um, consequences. I mean, day after, I'm, I'm great. I feel good, but I think th these shoes are, are, are done. Um, the various properties, I guess, in the sole uh, that make it, it's not as comfortable as it used to be. But um, I felt then the need to just have a video about this fantastic pair of shoes, about this model, and also to to voice a complaint and a concern about the fact that shoe manufacturers um, keep coming up with new models every year, and it's not necessarily for the best, the better. So consequently, our experience as runners there's people who put these on for many, many hours. Um, just gets compromised because our feet need to get used to a different design, a different type of a thing that's supposedly better. But why not just keep making a few models available uh, for those who find the right fit? Um, there is a claim that you need to get new pair of shoes every 
400, 200, 300, I don't know, very frequently. And as you can see, these shoes, so they don't look that great, they definitely don't smell that great, but they look, you know, the stitches, everything is fine. And after all this distance that I've ran with them and used them, this is heavy, heavy usage. I washed them yesterday in preparation for this video. That's why they look so nice now. Clean, rather. But, uh, you know, these are great shoes. It's working. Why change it? My feet get used to them. It takes a few months and then settle into them. And so... I only need a new pair, why not be the same pair? Anyway, I don't know, this is a lost battle. This pair is going to be replaced, case in point, with this pair of Merrells, which is, I've only had a few runs with them, they're great. This, this model is uh, their trail glove, and uh, I had a few of these trail gloves before, I love them. They are also um, a Vibram sole. The choice of color, I didn't have much choice. I'm a seven and a half, and so I, um, my options are limited sometimes. And I have to say that Merrill's choice of design is sometimes peculiar in terms of uh, color selections, especially in the men's shoes sometimes odd but uh, that's fine I mean I think I guess the visibility of these is going to be good for more of the winter times but not deep winter here in Chicago when I run on the trail I use these bear excess XRT shield by that it means that the, the shoe really is waterproof and it's warm and I have to say using them already last year they're great although the running sensation the feel of the sole even though it's a bare excess just as these bare excess fours this bare excess xrt also a zero drop shoe was less comfortable and it took me sometimes to get used to this sole compared to the bare access 4 and and hence my complaint to Vibram and the shoe manufacturers you know you get something right why don't you stick to it and you, you want to experiment or you want to offer additional models fine but stick to what's working anyway these are fine and final uh, request from Merrill or at least hope someone listens there is that uh, I understand that the zero drop shoe use or, or minimalist whatever you want to call those for me I'll call them zero drop because to me the discovery of shoes that are zero drop about a decade ago has really changed my life in terms of I used to suffer with walking shoes and running shoes uh, always had pain and also back pain stuff like that ever since I started using zero draw my <laughs> it's been great it's fantastic and so um, I do need more cushioning so I understand that they are kind of barefoot style these are definitely not barefoot they're just zero drop heel to toe is zero millimeters um, to those of you who are not really familiar with it as opposed to zero drop and a sole that is extremely thin I need some more cushioning um, but Merrell's is making less and less and less of these zero drop shoes and it doesn't offer anything for runners who need something uh, real substantial for snow and ice conditions this shoe is good for winter for rain stuff like that but not a Chicago winter certainly not running uh, on the lake front on the trail um, 
where you, you need something, a better grab. Why not make one of your models that you're making anyway and they're great, Mel, you make fantastic shoes for me personally, they're great fits. Why can't you make something that's zero drop? Uh, please do. Otherwise, you, I have no way, real no option other than to look at a company like, um, you know, other companies uh, like uh, Ultra and get their um, long, long, um, I forgot the name of the model. Anyway, uh, that's it. It's a long video. And if you made it so far and uh, you agree with my point about running shoes companies changing their models and um, all of that, please let them know as well. Thank you. Bye-bye.